Yo, yo. Slap on your gloves. Grab your tools of choice. And hey, meet me in your kitchen, y'all. All right, y'all. What do you know? First of all, I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man. Keep a cup to cook. Hey, I was walking through the grocery store today. My eye turned on it, y'all. And I had to get it, y'all. We back with another episode, y'all. That was then. And we gonna get into the now, y'all. Hey, I know everybody grew up on TV dinners, y'all. Hey, they was a fantastic thing for me, y'all. Hey, we had freezers full of these things, you know what I'm saying? Because back then, I believe you can get them, man, probably five of them for a dollar or something like that, you know what I'm saying? They was a little bit thinner. And of course, this was probably the first one out, the banquet. But, um, hey, man, growing up in, as a child, man, those was it right there, y'all. And then, you know, my mama used to have the table pretty much wrapped up because she was doing a lot of baking. Man, she messed around and got us some TV trays. Man, we'd sit on the floor with that TV dinner. Man, we thought we was doing something. We thought we had made it, y'all. I'm telling you, TV dinner for me go way back, y'all. Hey, but that was the. Hey, let's get into the now, y'all. Let's get into the now. We got that 93.7 ground beef, y'all. 93% lean, 7% fat. All right. First thing I want to do, I want to hit it up with a little bit of all-purpose seasoning, y'all. We're going to get this seasoned up. Then I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit of beef bouillon. We're gonna, we're gonna beef it up just a little bit more. We're gonna beef it up just a little bit more. A little teaspoon. Then I got one of these little packs. Lipton onion soup mix, y'all. I got a tablespoon of parsley I'm gonna throw in there just for a little freshness. You already know how I do it. Me and parsley, hey, that's almost my best friend, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hit it with a couple of dash, about a teaspoon of this W sauce. I'm gonna hit it up with a tablespoon of ketchup. What I like to do next, give me a tablespoon of this A1. All right, now we working with something. Then I'm gonna go in with one egg, y'all, that's beat. All right, now I'm going to go in with my hands and get this all mixed up. Get it all incorporated. Fold it on in there, y'all. Then what I got here, I got some breadcrumbs, Italian style. We're gonna go in a little bit at a time, y'all. 
You don't want to overdo it on your breadcrumbs. Take it a little bit at a time and see where you're at. Evaluate how you're standing. And I can tell I'm going to need a little bit more. And that's how you got to do with these breadcrumbs. Don't just throw them all in there. That was about a half a cup. Go ahead, I'm gonna dump a little bit more. So just up under a half a cup, y'all. When you get it to fill in to the consistency that you like, Take my meat mixture. I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator. Hey, just give it a few minutes so it can set real good. Hey, that's gonna give me a little bit of time. Clean up my workstation. And I got some other things to prepare on the stove. Cause we're gonna do this just like this with that corn and that mashed potatoes. But that was then. Hey, stand by for what we doing now. I'll be back. All right, y'all, I am back. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Hey, let me know in something in the comment section. Did y'all grow up on these right here, y'all? How much were they then? Or do, did you even know how much they were? But man, I just remember so vividly. Hey, when I went through the grocery store today and I looked over to the left and I seen them, Immediately my mind went on them about sitting in front of the TV watching Good Times or Sanford and Son, even all in the family, you know what I'm saying? But Andy Griffin show, come on y'all. What you know about these Salisbury steaks, y'all? What you know about these Salisbury steaks? Now, I know there's people out there don't eat red meat no more and things of that nature. Hey, do your research on this Salisbury steak, y'all, and find out it was a doctor that came up with these Salisbury steaks. That's his actual, his last name. So if he fed his regiment this red meat for health benefits, while all of a sudden now, hey, it's bad for you. But hey, to each his own. If you don't eat that, hey, you still do it with turkey, chicken, ground chicken, so on and so forth. But hey, let me go get my um, meat mixture out the refrigerator. I'll be right back. Sometimes what you want to do is slap it in that refrigerator and, and allow that that, that 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 coldness to really set your 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 meat. Let me slap on this glove. But yeah, I just can't get over it, y'all. Salisbury steak. I know y'all got to remember these. Oh, look at the little fried apples. Hey, go back in my videos and see them fried apples that I did. Hey, well let's 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 make these patties up, y'all. Let's make these patties up. Now I'm not quite sure on how big I want to make them, but we're gonna figure it out as we go. What's in my mind is just to make out of this pound just to do two of them, big. That's what's in my mind, for real. I'm gonna try to get them at that size right there, y'all.
And notice I tried to get it in an oval shape like that. Let me know something in that comment section. Man, we had the TV trays. Man, we thought we was, oh man, we thought we were doing it, y'all. We thought we were doing it. Might be able to get four of them out of here. Might be a little small, but hey. It is what it is. Yeah. We gonna make these do what they do. But in my mind, I started to get two pounds of meat because I wanted to have some for leftovers. There it is, y'all. Hope we go kick this bowl out the way. Then what we gonna do is hit it up. With a little bit of all purpose seasoning over the top. Okay, flip it over. You can roll it over inside that the excess seasoning. So do the same thing to this side. All right, we're gonna set that off to the side. Let's bring the skillet into play. We're going to get this set on like a medium high. We're going to allow that to come on up to temp. That was then. And we getting it to the now, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Ah. That's right, y'all. They look pretty decent, right? Yeah. Pretty decent while well, my skillet is coming up to temp. I think my favorite show back then was Good Times, y'all. This actually still is my favorite show. I love it when they had that marathon on Saturdays, you know, and I'm able to I'm able to sit back and watch episode after episode. I love that. Hey, good times, that, that was our life, you know what I'm saying? That was our life. Just when you thought you made it, you know what I'm saying? Or you, you getting ahead, something come up and bring you right back down. Hey, but we still here, y'all. Hey, and we doing it, that's right. Cause that was then. Hey, come on, let's get it into the now. We're gonna hit it up with a couple tablespoons of this avocado oil. Then I'm gonna drop two tablespoons of butter in there, y'all. Why butter? Because it makes everything better, y'all.
the avocado oil don't have no flavor. And we want to build some flavor in there. So we're going to put that flavor in there from the butter. With some places called, I never been to one of them that had a, got them butter burgers. Essentially the same thing I'm doing right here. My mind's still going on the daggone TV show from back in the day, y'all. <laughs> I'm still on that. I'm still thinking on it. Like, man, those were the days. That's that sizzle that you want to hear, y'all. Just gonna place them in there, give them a little smash down. You want them to hit maximum surface area contact on this skillet, y'all. The best that you can. And if you got more than four to do, I probably could have got five if I had five, but if you don't want to overcrowd your skillet, y'all. You don't want to bring your temperature way down, and you don't want to give them a little bit of elbow room when they're in there. That's essentially what, you talk, what I'm talking about. Give them a little bit of elbow room. Now, we're not going to cook these all the way off we just want to get them seared on both sides real good I'm gonna sit them back on my pan and then we're gonna work on this gravy we're gonna work on that gravy y'all that was then we doing it now y'all Got my corn over there, it's on the low, it's on the big stove. I got my milk, milk milk mixture over there on low for when I do my mashed potatoes. Man, you talking about nostalgia? That was it, that's it right here. Man, you had a whole meal. A whole meal in one of these trays, y'all. With the dessert. Come on, you couldn't get no better than this. At least we thought we couldn't. At least we thought we couldn't. What's y'all favorite TV dinner? How about that? Let me know something in the comment section on your favorite TV dinner. Maybe I got some stories about that one too. So this is the one right here, y'all. And right beside this one, I saw that meatloaf one. I didn't we didn't do the meatloaf as more more than the Salisbury steak one. But um hey, like I said, we have freezers full of them.
you just want to get a nice little sear on, on both sides. I'm going to say three to four minutes on each side. And then we're going to take them off and we're going to start on that savory gravy. Man, y'all remember when you had to either lift the plastic seal up or poke some holes in it, you know? Especially over the mashed potatoes, y'all, but them things used to be like rock hard. Come on, man. It's amazing how these stories, they come back to you as you're going. Oh, yeah. That's all we looking for, y'all. Nice little sear on both sides. I can tell that that end is cooking a little faster. I can rotate them, but hey, it's faster just to rotate the skillet. How about that? That's another thing you have to do when you're working with these induction heaters. Figure out your hot spot. Well, that's on everything. It ain't just on these. That's on anything that you cook out. Cook on. You got to figure your hot spots out. Don't hit give me a special. I'm looking down at this thing and I'm saying to myself, my my my. I actually thought back in the day it wasn't the corn. But it was the corn. I thought it was green peas. Cause that's what my mind was saying to get today, the green peas with this. But when I seen the corn, I was like, okay, that's right. It really was the corn back then anyway. But hey, let's go ahead and take these off. Let's bring that heat down. Just a tad bit. Set these off to the side. But I reserve the right to bring those back in just a few minutes. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter. Oh, I said we're gonna do some rich savory gravy with this, didn't I? That was then. This is nice. And I am the man. Keep a cup can cook. We going right on in with these onions, y'all. That's one little, I ain't even gonna say it was medium. I think it was a small one. Just gonna get these sweated down for a minute. All that rich butter butter and onions y'all butter and onions All 
All right, had to check on the things on the stove. We still looking good over there on the big stove. And we looking even better over here. That's right. But so that was then. And we doing it now, y'all. We going in with some mushrooms. Hit it up with a pinch of salt, y'all. Wake it all up and help it to sweat down. That's the white bellas, but you can use any mushrooms you want. I just gave it a little rough chop. I'm gonna hit it up with a tablespoon of tomato paste, y'all. We're gonna give it some, some body. Help it to thicken up. We got some roasted beef, better than bouillon. We're gonna go in with a half a teaspoon of that. Hey, this packs some sodium, y'all, so be careful when you're using it. Teaspoon goes a long way. You just want to get that cooked in, cooked down in there. Telling you, this is smelling amazing right now. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hit it up with a pinch of pepper. Continue to allow these onions and mushrooms to caramelize. Soak in all that good butter. You no know, mushrooms are like a sponge. Oh yeah, that was then. This is now. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Now we going in with a couple dashes of that W sauce, y'all. Give it that umami flavor on there. Yeah. Ooh. I love that W sauce smell. Now we're gonna hit it up with some flour, y'all. All purpose. Three tablespoons. Now we wanna get that incorporated, get it toasted up. Cook that rawness off of it.
instantly your mixture will begin to thicken up even more. Just continue to get it moved around. Cooking up flour, the raw flour taste out of it. I remember my first time making gravy from scratch, man. How that thing tasted more like grease and and that man that raw flour taste. <laughs> hey, you gotta learn these things, y'all. Got to get back in the kitchen. Get back to the kitchen. Then we're going to be going in with this beef broth, y'all. I'm going to do about two cups. I feel like about two cups. We want to get that moved in, get everything gelling together, get it all worked together smoothly. Let it come up to a boil. As you're stirring, it's becoming thickening, it's thickening. And if you see that it's thickening too much, go ahead and add you some more broth. That's all. But right now we good. Where we at? We ain't finished yet, y'all. We ain't finished yet. Actually, I think I am gonna add just a bit, a little bit more broth. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I want it to be a little thicker. I mean, thinner that. So, two and a half cups, y'all. See, cooking ain't like baking now. Baking, you gotta have this stuff precise. cooking you got to have an imagination <laughs> how about that give it another pinch of pepper get a couple tablespoons of this heavy whipping cream That's for a little richness, creaminess. Now you see the lightning, the, the lighter that it got it, because it, I put that heavy cream in there, that's okay. Now, it depends on what you want. I could keep it like that right there, or I could add a little bit of this kitchen bouquet to help darken it back up. It all depends on what color you want your gravy. You 
and I think I'm gonna keep it right there. We're gonna keep that right there. And you know I gotta hit it up with a little pop of color. You already know it. A little freshness in there. I'm going to reduce my heat to a low. Then I'm going to introduce my Salisbury steaks back to the game. Get them back to the party. Baste them a little bit in that savory gravy. All right, y'all. I'm going to let him do his thing. Pop this, this lid on. We're gonna let them simmer away. We're gonna let them get fully cooked on the inside. 165 degrees internal temp, y'all. Hey, I'm gonna clean up the rest of my station. I'm gonna get my corn, my mashed potatoes on the finish. Hey, that was then. And we doing it now, y'all. Hey, with that said, I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. And I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. And I'm back with another episode, y'all. Hey, we about to go in for the plating, y'all. And then you know what's next. That's right. The taste test. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Let's go ahead and take this veil off. We'll put that over to the side. I know I gave y'all a little look. Let me, let me kill the heat. We're going for the plating, y'all. About to go in for the plating. Ah, oh, yeah. What is your brain saying right now? What is your brain saying right now? Let me get me some of that gravy. We're gonna pour it over there. We're gonna put some on these mashed potatoes. What is your brain saying, y'all? I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. He going in for a splash of color, y'all. That's right. Ooh wee. There it is, y'all. That was then. And 
this is now. And I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Hey, we about to go in for the taste test. But before I do, hit that subscribe button for me, y'all. And give me the thumbs up. Everybody. And share it, y'all. Let everybody know out there. There's another channel out here. He doing it, y'all. He highlighting. He demonstrating. And he putting it on a plate right before your very eyes that's right i am your man keep a cup can cook can't forget the dinner roll oh man see i'm showing out with that hey when the last time you had a brown and serve roll y'all come on man we get eight hey, let's just go in for the taste test y'all Go in for the taste test. Ooh wee, I smell that goodness. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Try this recipe. Let's get back to the kitchen, y'all. Man, this is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. You already know what I'm about to do, y'all. I'm about to take this to the other room. I'm going to smash it, y'all. Actually, I'm going to devour it. And I know couple with that mashed potatoes and corn man belly gonna be fat I'm gonna be ready to lay it on down I am your man keep a cup could cook with another episode that was the this is now and with that said hey y'all Bye.